Hey guys, Mrs. Vance here. All right, so today we are gonna talk about skin color and that's the only thing we're gonna focus on today. So I do want you to have your project out, but also we're gonna start with our sketchbook actually first. Um, and then I've got colored pencils out. If you do not have a great set of colored pencils and you'd like to use crayons, maybe you have a really big like 64 set of crayons, you can do that. The same concepts are gonna apply colored pencils to crayons. Okay, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna pull out anything that I might think is valuable to me for skin color. So I've got some browns, some of that like peachy color, um, even like a more pink color, and then I've got some yellowy browns as well. I think that's about everything, but I'm gonna take a look and see if there's anything else, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an inventory of what I have, okay? So I am going to you know, pick up the colored pencil and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of color a section with that colored pencil and I'm going to write the color down. I'm going to overlap a little bit from the previous color and then I'm going to draw the next color and this one says light peach and I'm going to keep doing that for all of my possible skin colors. They were rolling away so I'm going to grab those. And I'm giving kind of medium pressure on my colored pencils. This one is just peach. Okay, so that one's done. Let's see which else one did. I want to make sure I stay organized. I'm going to keep all my finished ones on the right. So again, I am overlapping the previous color a little bit, and I'll talk about why I'm doing that in a second. This says blush pink. And then I've got this color, and this is yellow ochre. So we've got burnt ochre and yellow ochre. And then this is goldenrod. All right, I don't think we need the yellow orange. Yeah, that's this is way too orange. I'm gonna show you anyways. But that's a little too orange to be a skin tone. Now, some of you, my friends, might have different skin colors than I do. And you can kind of even like look at my face versus the, the skin colors I've got here. I'm going to stay probably in this zone over here. But some of you friends might have darker skin and you might need to grab some more browns and test those out. Okay, so then the next step that we're going to do is decide, okay, out of the colored pencils that I have, which one kind of is closest to me. So I even am just going to put my hands out here. And it looks like the peach is probably what I want to start with but I might want to mix that with something else. So 99% of you are going to mix two different colors together to make closer to what your skin color is. So I'm going to grab my peach color, okay? And then I'm going to make a bigger patch of that. So this is sort of step two. So step one is taking inventory. Step two is picking that main color and I'm gonna give myself a big block of that. And then I'm gonna use my other colors to kind of test and overlap. So I'm gonna kind of try to keep this organized and in color. And I'm only gonna do like the bottom half. So I'm overlapping. This is the yellow ochre. Let's see, this is the light peach. So I'm gonna put that on the other side here. So this says light whoop, peach, I can't spell all of a sudden. I'm gonna grab the burnt ochre. And that might, might be like Mrs. Vance in the summer when she's got a little bit more of a tan, more sun on her face. Um, but let's see which one I haven't I done yet. I think I'm gonna try the, is this the yellow? No, what is this, goldenrod, okay. All right, so I'm kind of looking at all my different options in um, in my skin color, and I'm looking for what kind of looks the best as a two-color blend. And maybe I need to even go take that a step forward and do like a three-color blend. So I, I could even then, I'm not loving this mix. I'm gonna grab one more brown. I've got this kind of sienna brown, and I'm gonna overlap that as well, just to check it out. That one looks too dark too. I'm sort of wishing I had like a, a brown that's even lighter than this one, but I don't think I do. 
Well, this one's a little better, but it's still too dark for me. So it's going to take a second to kind of put together the combination that I think is going to work best for my skin tone and not make me look too yellow or too pink on the paper. Okay, so I'm probably going to go with either like this combination or this combination. Um, the peach by itself does do a good job of kind of covering the space and getting it kind of where I want. But maybe I just need to do less. So like the yellow ochre was too yellow here. But what if I just add just a little bit over the top, right? So it could depend on the amount of each color that you are using and which color you're actually going to decide on for your skin tone. So what if I take that lightest brown and I only do a little bit of that? And then I go back over it with my peach. I think that's actually going to be my answer. So I'm going to go peach, a touch of this burnt ochre color, my lightest brown, and then I am going to go back over it with my peach. So that's going to be my method. So peach, a tiny little bit of the burnt ochre, and then back to the peach over the top. So now I can kind of push my colors to the side, my sketchbook to the side, and now I'm back to working on my project, okay? Now I want to be careful that I am not coloring in my glasses or anything like that. So again, I'm starting with peach. And then when I apply it to my face, I like to start on my hairline because it helps me kind of give that natural curve to my pencil. And I want to think about how my skin kind of stretches across my face. So I'm actually going to curve my pencil strokes and overlap as I go. And, and then they're going to straighten out across my forehead. And then I'll kind of curve my way down this way. It looks like I need to sharpen my pencil. I'm going to quick pause and sharpen my pencil. All right, so we're back in business now. So I am going to keep working my peach across. The crease in your paper will naturally kind of catch a little bit more pencil so you will see the crease probably when we're done with this project, but it is what it is because we want to make sure that we were able to get a nice and symmetrical appearance to our face. So the crease was kind of a something we can't avoid. So I'm going all the way over here and I'm going to kind of curve out my pencil lines as we go this way. All right. And now I, I did go up into my part area because you do have skin up here, right? And then I need to do all of my ear inside and out. Your ear is all skin. So making sure I don't miss those pieces. And then making sure I do the inside of my glasses where my eye would be. My eyelid needs color because this is all skin. The interior corners of your eyes needs color as well but we leave the whites of the eye and the irises alone. So be very careful not to color in the whites of your eyes. That will look a little silly later on, okay? So then I would also color the rest down here. I would actually color over my lips, and we'll talk about that another time because we're gonna add color to our lips, but our lips start as skin color and we're gonna add a little tint over the top. So we do wanna color our lips the same color as all of our skin. So when I switch to this side, of the face. So remember how I kind of curved up here? Now I'm curving this way down here. It is super important not to change your pencil strokes in each section of the face. We don't want to go from here all of a sudden to here, all of a sudden to here. Like if you if you change directions, you're going to see it very much so. So I when I did the lips, I did go horizontal, but when I'm coming across this face, I'm being very careful along my glasses edge but I'm kind of working my way up to straight so that my pencil strokes around my nose are nice and straight up and down. And then I'm working my way across and then angling to the other side. Now, because of the video and I don't wanna make you dizzy, um, I'm not moving my paper at all, but if it's more comfortable for you to turn your paper as you work, please do so. I know I like to turn my paper so that my pencil doesn't have to turn as much. So again, I'm doing one layer of peach, a light layer of brown, and then I'm going to go back over my peach. And you might need to sharpen your pencils a couple times as you go. And if you're using crayons, um, 
and you need a sharpener, you can kind of ask your parents to help you kind of use a pair of scissors to sharpen your crayon a little bit, but hopefully you have colored pencils so that you can use these materials as you go. Okay, and then we need to not forget about our neck. So our neck is skin color as well. And our neck is nice and straight, so we keep the pencil nice and straight this way as we, we fill in all the way across. Okay, I'll finish that up later. I don't want you to watch me do the whole thing. But I do want to see you to see me add a little bit of that brown. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add just a touch of brown to my skin tone. And everybody's is going to be different, remember. So I'm adding just a touch. And I'm only going to do my forehead. I won't waste your time and have you watch me do the whole thing. But I'm just adding a touch of brown to this top section. And then I think um, I've decided that my skin color might be getting a little dark if I press really hard with that peach. So I might get that light peach out and overlap. And now when I push hard, so this is my last layer. So I'm pushing much harder now. And I'm using that lightest peach color. And even though it's super light, basically what it's acting as is a blender. So it's blending my two colors together. If I did this with my peach, my regular peach and not the light one, I think it would have ended up too dark and I would have ended up a little bit too on the pink side. I do like how this is looking. So I ended up using three colors. I used light, or sorry, peach, the burnt ochre, and then I followed it up with the light peach to finish up my skin tone. And remember my, my kind of my pressure of my pencil is getting harder as I go. This last layer that's blending it all together, this is the one that I'm gonna press nice and hard with, but not so hard that I like, you know, rip my paper and things like that. So you can see a difference of where I have finished and where I've only done one layer. We never wanna leave it as one layer. One layer in colored pencil is never enough because we can see that white of the paper. We always want to layer it up with a second color or go back over it a second time to make those little white specks from the paper kind of disappear a little bit more. That's what makes shading with colored pencil um, a little bit more artistic, a little bit more complicated and complex, even though it's not, right? All it is is adding one more layer. So again, I use three different colors. Hopefully you will find your mixture of two or three colors that represents your skin color the best. And that's all you're focused on today because that is a lot, right? That the skin is a big part of your face. So um, take your time doing that and we'll talk about coloring everything else tomorrow. Have a great one, guys.